defeat, a hard one to take, probably should have had the game wrapped up in many respects, but looking back at the first half, Cove hit the crossbar and had one cleared off the line, a draw may be a fair result? I don't know, I thought, I thought we, like, we could have been 4-2 at half time, you know, and to us probably the two chances, we probably had the majority of it, five or six, I think we we had the majority of the second half as well, you know, without creating a massive amount, probably ended a good chance, could have took it down, and we had, we had a couple of, their keeper made a couple of handy saves, nothing major, but like Corey had nothing to do, you know, um, it's disappointing because it was the same, similar last week up in that lawn, it's a game we should have won, um, I think we should have won this one as well, six points as opposed to zero points, makes a massive difference, and um, <clears throat> but bottom line is, you know, if you don't score goals, you don't take your chances, you're you're always uh, at risk of losing, and uh, that's what happened. It's not often you've got Yo-Yo Madi on the pitch at the same time as in there. They seem to do a lot of damage in that first half. The f- half-time team talk must have been just stay at it and you'll win the game, but it didn't transpire that way. Were you disappointed with the misses and the nature of the misses in the first half? I was. Like, there was, t- was a couple of handy ones, now, Mike. You know, not just from the, our attackers, our defenders. They're probably, um, you know, I need to do better as well. The boys from set pieces and and put punished him um, and probably in the, in the second half needs to excuse me needs to take down that one and, and probably put it away but uh, he was unlucky in fairness at least he's getting in the right areas but it's just it's just I suppose it's not going for us really you know we should have you know we should have we should have taken our chances it's, it's, it's as simple as that you've you got to take your chances otherwise there's a risk of being punished and that's what happened you think back to the 86 eight, nearly 87 minute Robbie Lynch's chance at the back post that should have been the winner yeah, it should have been, but uh, it is what it is. You know, you you you, you don't take your chances, um, and it's it's a, it's a good finish by their by their by their player. But uh, you know, switched off for a minute, and that ha- that's what happens in in this division. You know, you're you're going to get punished if you don't take your chances. So I don't I don't know much more to say about it really. Yeah, it was the only chance that Corey Chambers had to sh- face shot on goal. So is that a disappointment that a the lack of concentration, but b not keeping the point that you had? Absolutely, very frustrating. We didn't keep the point that we had. You know, it's about picking up points. If you don't get three, or if you can't get three, you get one. You know, and that's the most disappointing part of it. Uh, we won the best defensive records in the in the league, um, but we're one of the lowest scoring teams, which is very disappointing. We knew that Cove are good at attacking, um, but we also knew that the, their defensive record isn't the best. And you know, we didn't we didn't get enough balls in the box. We didn't bombard the box enough. I thought the first half we did, the second half we stopped doing it. And you know, that was the message was clearly get more balls in the box um, because I feel anyway that they, they weren't defending them. Brilliantly, but then again, we gave them enough chances to, to start defending them better because they were asleep in the first half, uh, in my opinion, um, and we gave them an opportunity to um, to by missing the chances to, to 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 stay in the game, and that's what they did. People will be enthused by Stephen Healy's performance. He was really live, where particularly for an hour, seventy minutes, looked like he got tired. Probably that's why he did make the change. But nonetheless, he'll give you something completely different, and with Lee J Lynch to come in to a midfield role as well. That engine room badly needs a bit more drive. Yeah, Lee might play no out wide as well. You know, like Lee J, we've we've enough kind of, um, competitive midfielders as well. Um, with Carly coming back, you know, with Scotty, we've young Adam <coughs> um, Halloran uh, as well. So and then obviously Alec is in there, so that midfield area. You know, I think we might get try to get Lee higher up the pitch to create a bit more as well. But look, he's pre-season as well, so you know we'll we'll bet him in. You know, he might. You know, he probably won't start next week, but if he does. Um, he'd start the final week in the cup hopefully Yeah it's UCD next week Tommy they were beaten by Athlone tonight Bray conceded late Finn Harps won their game against Kerry Do you know teams are still above you picking up points whereas you're not getting those threes cons- consistently mm. Yeah yeah you know we need to win three or four games in a row Mike and that's the bottom line if you if you want to be making playoffs or anything like that but all you can do is is um, Concentrate in the next game. We've beaten City up there already 1 0. Uh, it'll be a difficult game, as we know. Um, but, you know, it's not beyond us. None of the games are beyond us. We've been beaten by a goal in, in every game that we lost, um, which is, you know, disappointing because, especially at home, you need to be scoring at home. Um, and it's, it's disappointing we didn't score. Trip threw himself around when he came on up top. He looks like he could create a lot, certainly aerially. Is there more players likely to come in or go the opposite direction in the days ahead? I'd say you take a goal scoring prolific striker easily now. 
Well, look, the two lads are, are there, like end end. Um, uh, Yo-Yo are proven strikers, and that's why they're on the pitch to score goals. Um, but look, we got to get them to supply as well. And you know, they had both of them had chances tonight. I've had a couple of chances each other days to go in. Um, <clears throat> but you know, we got two more to, to, you know, they get one chance in their score. So you know, but it's saying that that was it put on a plate for them. Uh, so we we got to get better at that as well. So the, some of the crosses that went into the box from fullback areas and, and wide areas have to be better as well. Thomas, I thought, did the best out of him when he came on in terms of uh, his deliveries into the box. Um, but before that, you know, we we didn't we could have got better deliveries into the box as well. So it's not all down to the strikers, but it's it's a it's a it's a bit of a combination of everything that's going on at the moment. But again, we were competitive. We were we were defensively solid, uh, and so that's why it's dis- disappointing to to lose the game. Very finally, because it got most people talking in the last 48 hours, the Lee J. Lynch signing is a big one for the club. It's great for him to come back to his hometown <coughs> club. Uh, I suppose the year is getting the better of him now, Tommy. What kind of impact are you expecting from him in the weeks and months ahead? Well, he's still a very fit, uh, fit man. You know, he still he keeps himself very well. Do you know what I mean? So um, we expect him to be, you know, what he is. He's a very good technical footballer. Um, I expect him to provide assists and I expect him to score goals. Um, he, he's, he's still well capable of doing that. He hasn't scored many in the last couple of years up up um, up north, but he has he has provided plenty of assists and um, I think. You know, I'd be expecting him to, to provide assists and the goals. That's what he's about. You know, that's he's good on the ball, get us playing, uh, keeping the ball. He's full of energy as well. So, uh, like you know, like you know, actions speak louder than words, and we can't wait to get him on the pitch. And, and that's why Louis talking.